Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can list your ERC20 token or your Binance Smart Chain token on a decentralized exchange. Now for, the, for this tutorial and as the title of the video says, I'm going to show you this, how to do it here on PancakeSwap with a BEP20 token. But the steps on how to list a ERC20 token, so an Ethereum mainnet token on Uniswap is ex absolutely the same. So just uh, to be sure that we all on the same page here, a couple weeks ago I created a video on how to create your own ERC20 token. Uh, this was this one. No, where, where is it? Here, this one. And a lot of people were asking me how you can list your token, you know, so that people can buy your token. So when you follow the, uh, this step, this tutorial here, you created here in Remix a ERC20 token and you most likely deployed it, well, most likely you did deploy it to the Ethereum mainnet. And a couple days ago, I did in a similar video saying how to deploy a smart contract to Binance Smart Chain. And I was also showing everyone how to create your token and to deploy it to the Binance Smart Chain. So the, the difference here between Binance Smart Chain and the Ethereum mainnet is following here. So as you can see here, we got Ethereum is the largest coin and they got their own Blockchain, uh, the Ethereum blockchain, we call it the Ethereum mainnet because there is a Robston testnet and there's the Kovan testnet. But for, you know, if you want to sell your token and you want to buy token, then you have to deploy it to the Ethereum mainnet. And yeah, you did it, you, you wrote your smart contract here in Solidity and then you deployed it to the Ethereum mainnet. And the same steps are when you deploy a smart contract to the Binance Smart Chain, you know, Binance is now the third largest token. So BNB actually is the third largest token. This is the main token on the, on the Binance Smart Chain. And if you want to deploy your token, there are similar, well, there are a few different ways on how you can deploy your token. So if you really have a lot of money and you have a good project, then you can submit your token to Coinbase or to Binance itself or any other centralized exchange. Now, if you do not want to do all this and you don't have the funding, then you can deploy your token to decentralized exchanges, meaning anyone can deploy any token to a decentralized exchange. And for the Ethereum mainnet, we got Uniswap. So Uniswap is a decentralized exchange where you can create your with your own token with an ERC20 token uh, and your own token you can create a liquidity pool meaning once you create that liquidity pool then people can buy and sell the this token here from Uniswap and the exact same steps that you would do here on Uniswap you can do here on PancakeSwap and PancakeSwap is from Binance uh, the decentralized exchange from Binance. So we go here, PancakeSwap, PancakeSwap. So they, they also got their own token, but it's uh, also an exchange. So you got here the link to the exchange. And on if, if you want to do it uh, on Ethereum mainnet, then you have Uniswap. Uniswap also has its own token and it's also an exchange. So the steps, everything is basically completely the same. So if you want to know how to deploy or to list your token for the Ethereum mainnet, you can watch the video and also you can watch the video if you want to know how to deploy your token to PancakeSwap to the Binance Smart Chain. Because the idea behind is the same, the steps are the same. The only thing different is for uh, the BEP20 token you use PancakeSwap and for ERC20 token, you use Uniswap. Okay, so, but for this tutorial and because it's much cheaper to deploy a token on the Binance Smart Chain, I will show you this step-by-step -step on how to do it here on PancakeSwap. So, uh, at this point, if you watch these two videos, then you, s you now have 
created your uh, ERC20 to, or so you have created your smart contract here on Remix and you most likely have deployed it already to the either to the Ethereum mainnet if it was a ERC20 token or you have deployed it to the Binance Smart Chain if it was a, a PEP20 token. And now we want people actually to buy our buy our token and you know to interact with it because if nobody can buy our token then you know it's basic our token is basically useless so i have here my uh, smart contract and i have deployed it to the binance margin so i'm going to copy here the uh, delete this so i'm going here to the bsc scan explorer and i paste in here the transaction hash Okay, so I look for my token. So I got here my token that I have deployed to the Binance Smart Chain in the last video. This is the the smart contract of my token. And as you can see here, I have verified my contract. Uh, you also might want to verify your contract because it's just a good practice to verify your contract so people can when they click here on contract they can see what the what this token is about or what the smart contract they interact with is all about so you know nobody you know it's not like it doesn't mean if it's verified doesn't make it any legit because you can also deploy a scam contract on here but at least people that have some uh, programming knowledge or that know a little bit about solidity they can interact here with these uh, they can see here what 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 are they interacting with and the same goes here for let me go here to etherscan you also have here a token on the i just use this one so it, the same the sites look absolutely the same you know this is for uh, the Binance Smart Chain and this is the for the Ethereum mainnet so the, and that's why you know I'm saying all the steps are completely the same so I go here to a token and also I can see here uh, the contract of the token okay, Ethereum is lagging a little bit and you can see here this is the smart contract for in this case the singularity net token and here we got uh, my code with Joe token. Uh, and now uh, we want to deploy our token here to PancakeSwap. So on PancakeSwap we go to Trade and Liquidity. And here we can add Liquidity. So we can select what uh, liquidity pair we want to create so we can create any so we can here i copy the address here from my smart contract so this is the select token so this is where i want to create i paste in here the contract address of my token i select this one and here i create here how many um i create the how should i say the the token that my token can is being traded in right so I, I want to trade my token with the binance token and if i have here a balance of bnp token then i can set the price like this so i can select how much liquidity i want to uh, add in in terms of bnp token and then i can set here the price down here uh you know for the initial price so unfortunately I was doing the video earlier but then I didn't have the microphone turned on so I did the whole thing I was talking and explaining everything but then I saw I didn't have uh, uh, audio so yeah I have to do it here again so I cannot you know I have to explain you this by by doing how it works so you can set here the Bin Binance token here and here you can already create it because in the previous video I already created the token pair 
and I was selecting one BNP token were to 100,000 code with Joe token. But as you can see here, you can down here, you can see the, the price. Uh, so you get 100,000, uh, 100,000 CVJ token is one BNB or one BNB is uh, one C code with Joe token is 0 0.00001 Binance token. Okay. Then this is how you can play around here with those two values for your liquidity pair that you want to create. And that's how you set the price. Now, uh, let me see if I can do this. So I can actually here, the first thing that we do is we click supply. Then we have to uh, approve the transaction that cost about 12 cent here on the Binance smart chain. And once the transaction is approved, then the next step would be to create the pool and then you have to click on create pool and then it creates the token pair on PancakeSwap. And yeah, unfortunately, let me see this. Actually, you know what, let me see what happens here. So these steps are the same, you set the price, then you click supply. You might have to first you have to approve your transaction. Yeah, here in this all I'm doing here is I add more liquidity, but you just follow the steps when the windows pop up and just click through it. And yeah, and then, you know, by the end of of the two steps, then you have your liquidity pair. So the transaction was submitted here. And down here, then you can see LP tokens in your wallet and you have here the trading pair code with Joe to BNP token is now the liquidity pair. And we can click here on Binance chain and we can see the transaction. And we can see here the transaction for, you know, this, uh, for the liquidity that we created here. And yeah, once this is done, then you actually, your token is ready to be traded here on PancakeSwap. And you could actually now go here to PancakeSwap.info. And if I type in here CVJ, it actually should pop up. My token should pop up and we should also see the trading pair. So CVJ uh, to BNP token. Now, unfortunately, their site is not synced. so. It takes a minute before our token uh, shows up here on pancakeswap.info. But this is basically it, how you can uh, set the price and how to list a token on an exchange. And you know, this was for PancakeSwap and this, the same steps are for Uniswap. So I'm just walking you through this here. So click here on Uniswap. And now you gotta make sure you can only deploy PEP token to PancakeSwap and ERC20 token to Uniswap. So, you know, don't confuse this, but here you would do the same. You said, for example, you want your token to be traded with, um, with Ethereum, for example, then you set the amount of Ethereum that you want to uh, put into the pool. So you set one Ethereum, then you paste in here the token address of your token. And then you just click through all these steps and you can also set the price. So this is absolutely the same on Uniswap as it is here on PancakeSwap. Just looks a little bit different. You know, the styling is a little bit different, but the concept and the idea behind this is absolutely the same for both uh, blockchains. Um, yeah, and this is basically it here. So there are more things you can do here on PancakeSwap. Let me just walk through this on um, here. Yeah, you can. Well, I'm not going to talk about the uh, staking. I will do an extra video on how this works, the staking works and how the pools work. So you can also, if you have your token ready and set up, then you can create a syrup pool. Then you click on here and your project. Let me see. But you have to apply for this, you know, so I might do it here, but you have to fill out all this information here. 
and i think you know if you if they like your project then you know you can um add your project here to to the zero pool meaning yeah i don't know i will do a, a tutorial on this but that's also like you know you can um for example people can stake into your pool cake token so this cake is the pancake swap token cake is the uh, token symbol for the pancake swap token and then you could actually if, if it goes through and they, they like your project then people can stake um cake token and then they can earn uh your token for example uh, i will apply to this once and see maybe they you know accept me then i, I will do a tutorial on how to do this with the syrup pool but in order to trade your token here, this is, you know, we already done everything here. On the exchange, let me see if we can find our token here. Um, and now people can just come here to uh, PancakeSwap and now they can trade your token. So let me see if we can find my token here. Um, I have two token because one I screwed up the decimals. so. Uh, if you want to buy my token, I suggest you buy my token because you never know how far this goes. Uh, I will post the correct uh, contract address in the description of this video. And here you can set, for example, I'm going to use Max and I buy my own token here. Why not? Okay, so I don't have that much BNB token, but you could here, for example, set it to if you have one Binance token, then you can buy all these. Uh, BNB token or whatever you want to spend, you know, you can buy the token if there is enough liquidity and you got enough funding here on your account. But this is how simply it works on how to create. Oh, uh, here we go. So if you have now one token, you can buy about 50,800 pancake swap token. Uh, keep in mind when I created here my token, it was for one BNP. I created a liquidity pool for one BNP for 100,000 C or code with Joe token. And now already the price went up. So you can get only with one BNP token, only 50,000 um, token. So the thing what happens here is w as soon as you deploy your token, there are bots that are going to buy up your token right away, you know, so they, you know, buy it and then sooner or later they're going to dump your token or you know whatever it is there's not much really you can do this is just what happens here on these decentralized exchanges because anyone can interact with it so don't be surprised when you as soon as you click actually here let me go to my contract so don't be surprised as soon as you uh, create a liquidity pair that some people might already buy up your token or you know a fraction of your token or you know whatever a small amount usually a small amount of your token they will buy up right away as you can see here this was bot buys so i was creating here my token i was creating here the liquidity pair the uh, smart contract uh, the yeah the contract was just um approved and right away so 37 minutes ago uh the liquidity pair was created and one minute later already people bought my token here you know this was a, a bot or something yeah it was a bot you know but he bought but then he right away also sold it again so you don't be surprised you know when as soon as you you know deploy a token that people buy it up and yeah again the same steps here again is here on uniswap the difference is here on uh between uniswap and the binance smart chain is it's way cheaper here on the binance smart chain to create a token However, more people use Uniswap. So, you know, this is a trade-off that you have to think about when you create your project, you know. Uh, but the way Binance token and the Binance Smart Chain is growing, as you can see, we already it's the third largest token already. So the Binance token is the third largest token. So, you know, uh, there are a lot of users will come, definitely come uh, and you know work here on the binance smart chain because it's at, at this point it's much uh way cheaper than the ethereum mainnet so yeah
but this is up to you you know the steps are absolutely the same if you deploy it on PancakeSwap or on Uniswap um, I hope I didn't miss anything in this video and I hope I could help you on how to get started with your project I will leave all the information here for my token here if you want to purchase it on PancakeSwap you know you're free to do so this is decentralized my token is now up and running so if you want to buy it uh, I would be happy you know but do not expect anything too much from it you know I will definitely use it I will work on this project you know if there are upcoming uh, things that I want to show you I got now my own token where I can you know demonstrate all this stuff and yeah we never know how far this token might go but you know, maybe if you have a little, a couple bucks, twenty dollars or something laying around, you know, you can buy my token on PancakeSwap. And yeah, I think I was explaining you the most important things here. I'm just thinking if I forgot something, but um, yeah, I was talking about here. Uh, let me see. Let me refresh this. Yeah, it still didn't sync completely. But as soon as this is synced, or you know, you can actually find your token on here. Yeah, but it's not synced yet, so you know it might take a minute. On Uniswap works the same. You go to uniswap.info, for example. So if you deploy your token here on Uniswap, then you can go to let me go here to uniswap.info. And then you can, you know, just paste the your smart contract, so the contract address from your ESC20 token in here, and then you should find all the information to your trading pair on here as well. So this, you know, again, PancakeSwap and Uniswap are very similar, and you know, the steps and everything is absolutely the same. Also, there's, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not a hundred percent sure if this, uh if this happens but last year there was uh, when uniswap came out and people was creating liquidity pools and so on and creating token pairs so um, uniswap was doing an airdrop and anyone that was creating liquidity pairs and was interacting with uniswap was getting free token and i was actually getting a a lot of free tokens so this is worth now over like 60 70 thousand dollar that i got for free on Uniswap just for using Uniswap back in the days and maybe this happens here something similar might happen here on PancakeSwap as well that they might do I don't know in the near future or something uh, airdrop to people that were interacting with PancakeSwap so you never know that's why you know it's and it doesn't cost you much so you might as well try around here play around create a token create some pairs you can also uh, add liquidity so that this is what, what I forgot here. I already created my liquidity pair, so I I created here my op, my uh, code with Joe token, Binance token, liquidity pool, so the trading pair. And you can also just add liquidity as well. You know, you don't have to do anything, and you can whenever there is a transaction happen between code with Joe and the Binance token. So either there are buys or sell, then you will get uh, some share on you know in form of liquidity tokens i don't know how exactly how much this is but this not works on but this does just doesn't work only for my token this works for any uh trading pair on PancakeSwap, and the same you know also goes here for uh uniswap you can also uh go here to i don't know even if it's a large token for example ethereum and BNP token, for example, you just want to add liquidity. You can just add liquidity, and then you earn all the constantly uh, based on the transaction that are happening. How how much this is, I cannot know. I don't so I don't know. But you you know, adding liquidity or providing liquidity, you know, definitely you know, on you can earn money with that, because liquidity is really important. 
because the more liquidity is, the more buys and sell, you know, the, the higher, how should I say, the, the, the more, how should you say it? So, um, the, the whole thing is working here on liquidity, right? So you don't have buy and sell orders, so you have liquidity provided here for your token pair. And the more liquidity is for a token, the, you know, the more people can buy, you know? So I hope this makes sense. I don't know. I know it's not a good explanation, but um, if, the, if there's a liquidity only of like $200 and somebody wants to buy a token worth $200,000, you know, he, he cannot, uh, he cannot do the purchase because the liquidity is not there, you know? So this is one thing that you have to, you know, keep in mind when you create a, con a, a project, you know, you should have a lot of liquidity. As we can see here, PancakeSwap, for example, the PancakeSwap token has a total liquidity of $219 million. So, you know, if, if there is, will be only liquidity of like $9,000, you know, it's hard to to buy for ten thousand dollar worth of token, right? So I hope this makes sense, what I'm saying here. But I'm sure you're going to figure it out. Just keep sticking around here. Read all this uh, information here. You know, I'm, I don't wanna. No, you know. Uh, what should I say here? You know, I don't want to explain you everything you have to do some work and some research on your own i just give you here uh, guidance you know some informations but in how to the exact steps and so on you know you you have to uh research for yourself as well yeah i hope this helps you this tutorial i hope this video helps you and you can you know you make a lot of money with your token if you do send me some free token and yeah this is it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Uh, and if you have any questions, be sure to, you know, leave your questions in the comments and I will, you know, try my best to answer it as soon as I can. Okay, guys, this is it on how to create, how to list your token to PancakeSwap and slash Uniswap. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.